Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Camille. Welcome to episode 2 of my new series. If you did not know, I have a new series on here called Advice from a High School Senior, which is going to be a ton of content about all of my high school advice and a bunch of high school content and basically everything you need to know or everything about high school. So yeah, you guys can watch the playlist. Um, I made a playlist with all the videos. Um, I'll link it in the eye, wherever it is. Um, and you can watch the last video. But yeah, anyways, today is episode two and today we are going to talk about how to start the school year off right. So whether you're at home or you're, uh, so whether you're on Zoom or in the classroom, and even if you've already started school, I feel like this will help you. You can use some of these tips even if you are already back in school. Um, so I feel like even if you are going to school right now, let's still watch this video and see if you learn anything new. So yeah, anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing to start off a new school year right is to create a new routine. So kind of sit down and think about your morning routine, your night routine, your after school routine, how are you going to fit in all of the things that you want to do, all of the homework that you have, um, make sure you get enough sleep. I think it's really important to think about your new routine this year, especially if it's different than past years. And I think in routines, a balance is so important because that's the only way that you'll be able to stick with these routines. So make sure your routines are super, like, they're realistic for you. And also give yourself a little bit of leeway because you don't really know what's going to be happening this year. So, yeah, find a routine that has a lot of balance for you so that it's sustainable and just start using that routine. The next tip to start off the school year right is to try to be early in your routine. So whether that is waking up a little bit extra early or leaving for school a little bit extra early or going to bed a little bit extra early, try to be a little bit early on your routine so that, as we all know, when the school year happens, the schedule starts to slide a little bit so that you have leeway and you don't end up being late but you're actually on time because... Does that make any sense? I think it does. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so just try to be early in your routine, try to be really on top of it so that if it does slide during the year, you're still on time, if that makes any sense. Okay, the third tip is to establish any new habits you want to create. So whether that is picking out your outfit before the night before you go to school, or um, making your lunch the night before, or um, studying 30 minutes a night, or something like that. Whatever it is, choose what habits you want to achieve this year and write them down, try to make them happen, fit them into your new routine and just really try to think about which habits you really want to create this year and start working towards them. Okay, so the next tip is to make sure you have all of your school essentials before the first day of school. I feel like it's just so helpful so then you don't have to worry about everything and you already know you bought everything off your list. If you don't have a list or your teachers like you're waiting for your teachers to tell you on the first day of school, just try to buy your school supplies as early as possible so then you don't have to worry about it. Also, speaking of, um, episode one, which is the last episode of the series, is actually all of my favorite school essentials and all things that I think are very useful, so definitely go watch that video and yeah, that should give you some ideas if you have no idea what to buy. Okay, so the next tip is to get organized. So whether you're at home or in-person classes, get your desk organized, get your backpack organized, figure out where you're going to do your homework, where you're going to do your schoolwork. Just make sure your space is organized so that you actually can use it and it's not a mess because I find that an organized space really helps me stay focused and be more productive and also then you can find everything and that just is a really good way to start off the year. Okay, so the next tip is to wear something that makes you feel confident on the first day of school or just as much as possible. Um, even if you're on a Zoom call, just wearing something that you like, that's comfortable for you, um, it will, it totally changes my mood. I know, but I don't know about you guys, but it totally changes my mood when I'm wearing an outfit that I like. So choose a first day of school outfit. If you want to, you can even pick out a bunch of outfits that you know are like fallback outfits. So if you are in a rush one morning, you just pick out one of your fallback outfits that you know you like and is cute or whatever. Um, and yeah, so you can just pick out a few outfits, pick out your first day of school outfit, and make sure you're confident in it. Okay, number seven is to be on time. Be on time to your Zoom, to your school, your class, to your school, to your classes. Um, just try to be on time on the first day. I feel like it makes such a big difference because you're not worried about being late to the class or um, 
other things with that. Just try to be on time, make a good first impression. And yeah, the next tip is also very simple and that is just to be nice to everybody because you never know who will be your new friend, your new study mate. You may be in classes where you don't know anybody, um, so try to be nice to them so that, <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard. Just like wave for people, smile, I guess you can't really with a mask on. But um, being nice to people, you never know where it will lead you. And in classes, you always will want like a study partner or something, somebody who you can text when you're not in class. So just be nice to everybody. Okay, number nine is to try your best and put your best foot forward on the first day of school. I think first impressions are so important and this is the first time that you're going to these teachers' classes. So like I said before, try to be on time, try to be nice to your teachers, um, and just work your hardest and pay attention and focus in class because it will pay off in the long run. And the first day of school, you're kind of creating habits for how this or like the first few days of school, you're creating habits for how the school year is going to go. So if you're super focused in class and you're paying attention, um, that will definitely help you in the long run. Okay, number 10, I'm not really sure about how this works during a global pandemic, but that is to try and get involved, whether that's a sport, an activity, a club, whatever it is. I don't really know if you can get involved exactly on the first day, but definitely during like the first month if ish try to get involved with school events and all of those things because they will definitely help you make friends make connections people will be able to help you with classes and i just feel like it makes school so much more enjoyable when you have clubs or activities or all of those things so yeah if you have the opportunity i know some of us really don't this year but i would highly recommend number 11 is actually a habit that i'm going to recommend and that is to get into the habit of using your planner um, for me, a planner is like the most important thing to being on top of your grades, being on top of your schoolwork. Um, I use a planner all the time. I'm a big believer in the planner. I feel like it helps so much because you don't have to keep all your schoolwork in your head. You just write it down on a piece of paper and you can go back to it. So try to get in the habit of using your planner. Even if it's on the first day of school and it's some really simple assignment, write it in your planner. Um, just creating the habit is a very good idea. Okay, so the last tip is to do your homework um, as soon as you get it, like that night when you get home, because at, being on top of all those small assignments is so important because number one, you're building the habit after school of sitting down and getting your homework done. Also, they're really easy assignments on the first day of school, at least for me, so that's super easy to check off your list and they're not hanging over your head, but also um, you are getting out of the way those small projects so when you actually get a big project you'll have more time to focus on it more energy to focus on it and all of those small assignments will be out of the way so definitely do your homework try to be as on top of it as possible your grades will thank you your teachers will thank you <laughs> so yeah all right that is all the tips that i have on how to start off your school year right um, I hope this helps you have a smoother start of your school year and hopefully that makes the rest of your school year go a little bit more smoothly. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helps you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!